For the data visualization project, what you need first is some data. And um, I've grabbed the crime rate statistics for the top 14 cities in the country and typed those out in an Excel spreadsheet. Um, you could use Google Sheets or whatever that, what, that you want for, for a kind of project like this. And um, I have charted those out in a couple of different line graphs, um, basically the same graph with the axes flipped. Um, and one thing that you notice is that the rate kind of goes at a linear fashion. It doesn't go at an exponential increase. I've assigned a value to to one to rates that are similar, right? Two of them are exactly the same. A couple of them are very, very close. So um, what I'm, my idea was to take a famous piece of graffiti art from the 80s, a scheme piece called All You See Is Crime in the City. And uh, what I would like to do is use that as the basis um, for the idea. So I'd like to the overall chart to read All You See Is Crime in the City. And for each letter, uh, we'll, that would represent a particular city and it would be uh, a different size, a different, very specific different size for the crime rate. So that you can kind of see that these cities are bigger than others. And I was thinking that maybe somehow I could make the name of the city um, the make up each letter. So we'll see how that works out. I'm going to blow this up nice and large. So it'll kind of take up the whole thing. And I kind of want to use these uh, blocky graffiti type letters for it. So I think what I'll do is I'll make the smallest size um, the exact size of the, of the graffiti. And then I'll go up from there. And that'll just kind of be a basis. I'm going to draw right through, so the I is going to be the first size. I'll need to step up and add bigger sizes as we go. The other thing I do is insert guidelines to kind of give myself a basis for how big everything is. About the average of the first size. The um, we want it to be a reasonable distance, so I think what I'll do is I'll kind of make it bigger both on the top and bottom. As we turn off our original layer, we're starting to see the size difference. It should get very dramatic by the time we're done with it. So now we need to step up to size three. Because they're linear, we're going to keep the sizes um, the size jumps pretty much the same each time. There. Okay, so what I've done is kind of normalize everything um, to this uh, this size format. Um, so it's looking okay as a as an initial sketch, um, it's, but it's going to need some refinement because the lettering obviously isn't really how you would want it to be. So um, I want to select everything and move it up. Now I can go in and kind of refine some of the lettering, right? Um, make some changes. Make everything a little more readable. I really don't like the N and the M. So those are going to have to change, right? So bring those up, make that a little thinner. Bring that down. Go back into the under layer. Erase some stuff. There. That's looking a lot better. So now what's left is to kind of refine everything. 
um, in terms of the lettering, and then to see if I can kind of integrate the lettering with um, the cities, right? We could also draw lines to it, like Indianapolis. It could work. Um, but let's try some other options, right? Turn that layer off. Um, and what we could do is we could write those within the actual letter, right? That's another option. I kind of like that option. The other uh, way we could do it is write the names in the shadows. Um, that could be even that could be even better. Um, that could actually kind of work. So um, we could kind of de-emphasize the city names, and you'd kind of um, get that. So we would just need some lettering. I think we're starting to get something that. Um, that might work. We might need to refine that and keep trying some different ideas. But it's a sketch, right? So we'll see how it goes. I went through and developed this a little bit more um, and finished out this kind of um, not very infographic looking infographic of crime statistics. So um, the letters get bigger with a bigger crime rate. The city name is written in the shadow and um, each letter uh, kind of steps up or steps down depending on the uh, number of violent crimes in the city uh, per capita per 100,000. So we'll see if I can turn the uh, guides back on. Um, well, I can actually pull some guides back and kind of show you. So you can see that um, each letter has a specific point that it ends at. And those all kind of uh, step down based on the crime rate in the city. So you can see that it pretty much exactly matches those stats that we were looking at. So it steps up several times. Um, and I think it's kind of a interesting way to go about things um, where you're trying to get uh, synthesis. And what I've tried to do is, is build on something that's already been done and um, change it into something slightly different, slightly tweaked. Um, and again, this is just a sketch. It's an idea. So when you go about creating your data visualizations, you don't have to take this approach. You can do almost anything that you want with it.